the madman. Welcome back to the deck that I started and liked the most in Mean Streets of Gadgetzan, Buff Paladin. I think there might be enough tools in this expansion to make Buff Paladin work now. Between the Serenite Chain Gang giving an additional extra bonus buff, the Corpse Taker and the Chillblade Champion both being minions which can regain you health. Uh, this deck sometimes ran out of health. The Righteous Protector being fast. And Bone Mare giving you that additional power and taunt and health. It seems like it could work. Let's give it a shot. There's some ideas to like throw in Mean Street Marshal and Fight Promoter, but in my experience, and I have played this deck quite a lot in the uh, Mean Streets era, those cards just uh, didn't end up quite as impressive as one would expect. This deck, by the way, had tended to perform well against Druid, like way back in the day, but it's very different now. Oh, Steed is unfortunate. It's like the one card that doesn't get buffed by Smuggler's Run, other than Smuggler's Run. Well, I'll greet it up. Well met. It's My not reason. really greedy. I'm just choosing not to play a run on a two hand. But with the two Doffel Gangsters in hand, Smuggler's Run is basically buffing seven minions. Not too shabby. The battle. So, the reason why I think Hydrologist might get cut in this deck is... It can't really take advantage of Repentance, which seems like a small thing, but part of what makes Hydrologist good is that most of the secrets are good, but in this case, Repentance is pretty bad since I usually overkill. Pretty good Alder. Okay, and then uh, Dalpha Gangster should stick around for Spike Ridge Steed. It's basically like dealing one damage, or two damage there. Alright, let's go. Honcho. Other people are not brave enough to run this card in their deck. They don't see possibilities I do. Defender guy. Honcho, 66%. I think so. Hmm, yeah. And then here I was actually going to usually pick a card that I could play immediately. Druid has traditionally done poorly at dealing with big minions and dealing with lots of minions. And this combination gives me lots of big minions. So it seems like a good strategy. Yeah, 100% chance of success. Go. Nice. My only sadness is Bran Bronzebeard is not in the meta anymore. Bran Bronzebeard would be insane in this deck. My only regret. So 
That's definitely two spiders. Hmm. Uh oh. Two spiders, super spooky. Uh, Serenai Chain Gang actually might stop that. 6 1, voluntarily trading into the 1 1? Not quite. Hmm. Hit. So I have 24, the opponent's at 48. But after this turn. He's used a lot of his fast removal already. Oh, but he can remove. Eh, hmm. Okay, that's gonna be. Wow, Righteous Protector right on time. So you have to get through the Divine Shield, the Minion itself, and then the Stegodon, which can also one-shot a spider, so it seems good. Why not Spike Ridge the dude? Uh, being able to have everything... Having everything be able to kill the spiders in one hit seemed good. Insects. Doesn't look like Sunkeeper Terum will be good for quite some time. Let me think. Yeah, I'll play the slow Raffi on this turn. be value with my 8-1 man just to survive to kill an 8-8. That's pretty value. That was a lot of trades with big minions. Tricky, tricky. The opponents actually played both Jade Idols, due to the pressure he was feeling. And possibly playing around Geist. Think it's time for the finale? No. Well, he's, he has only used one swipe, so if I make this trade, it looks good for me, but he'll just swipe this. So we'll just... Wait, that means this is really good. To do this. For so long, people have been waiting for me to go face. But finally, we have collected enough momentum to cash in the face. Bone Bear. 
this one, I guess. Now this one to prevent the hero. It's not like how much fatigue is he taking? Three. So he's at fifteen. It doesn't really matter, I think. This is better for the purposes of actually thinking about it. No, it's not even a. That's fine. I don't want to give him the opportunity to cut down more power. Better to spread it out. Well, Jade defeated. Does that mean this is a good deck? Priest. I guess we toss these also. Yeah, of course. Good thing I'm running in all these priests for the free wins, at least. Wow, that's a... That's a good one. I mean, just getting one buff on these chain gangs means... Oh, man. Do I ever lose this game? I do want to play Hydrologist, so... So that's 4 mana 6 8 already, but next time it'll be uh, 2 yetis for the price of 1. It's like, uh, summon 1 yeti, get 1 free. I know a good deal when I see it. It's a good deal. Virgin Squire, wow. Is this Zoo Priest? I must consider. Oh my gosh, I actually got them back. I'll do the uh, buy one yeti, get one free now then. Oh, there it is! Shadow Ascendant! So you chose a card, but did not have the mana with a 2 discount still to summon it. It appears. Well, props to him for trying out a uh, very unique concept, but I'm afraid it ain't gonna work. Not against my tier 1 deck. One, yeah, buy one ogre, get one free. I like this. What is real? That deck probably runs very little AoE, I imagine. This leads me to wonder, what card did he grab with the Shadow Visions? The light protects me.
Seems like I uh, weathered the storm from that very aggressive deck. I just want to know what he uh, got with Shadow Visions. Still in his hand. No way he took a Mind Blast. Did he think he was doing that well? At the time of the pick? Reporting for duty. <sighs> Alright, well this has been more successful than I thought it would be, but I don't think it got proper testing and I think it's running, it's ran hot and the reason is the opponents weren't that good, or somehow.